test. Hey there guys, what's up? Francis and Dead here. Welcome to the channel in my program. So I guess today I have flinched from my duty. I failed to I failed to comfort a lecturer of mine who recently who recently and allegedly got kicked out from uni from the University of Sydney and uh, you know, I just failed to reassure him by making a phone call. Um, so, do you think it's considered a flinch from duty? Since, um, since I, I am still trying to make myself enjoy making cold calls and, you know, ordinary phone calls to you know, to people I care about and to my associates in Australia. <coughs> but I guess, but I guess that problem will fix itself over time. <coughs> so back to the main, back to the main um, question for tonight. So honestly, I. <coughs> I have yet gathered enough enough thoughts and um, evidence to support my claims I tend to make during the filming of my YouTube videos. Um, so, so I just like to talk about my plans for next week for this coming week. Um, since I have completed those um, writing, proofreading projects from um, on, on this Wednesday, on this Thursday, I remember. And uh, I, I haven't got many clients recently. So, my mor my mor my morale definitely got badly hurt. Thus, I will require some time to regain focus. And on the other hand, on the other hand, I will need to recondition my brain in order to gather more thoughts and valid arguments for my next YouTube videos. <coughs> but honestly, honestly speaking, this week, it's, um, you know, all the, you know, my own spirit, my own body, and uh, the weather, everything's proven to be quite counterproductive, thus severely impeding my my enthusiasm to create more vids, to create more meaningful vids. Um, so, um, well, I guess sometimes planning. Planning too much or thinking too much won't actually help with the primary agenda of ours, especially um, especially when you are surrounded by you know by people who are not as productive and by people who are not as encouraging or inspiring. <coughs> it is I think it is pretty much inevitable during our lives because we will get to meet all kinds of people and we will get to infiltrate into all kinds of environments and uh, you know it go just goes beyond our reasonable degree and reach of control. 
<clears throat> what else? Oh shit. I, I admit, I tend to get quite nervous when I got nothing in particular to to give a, you know, to to talk about. <clears throat> but I guess I will just try my very best, rest assured, to harass potential buyers, potential customers. Um, I can recall that one, one time I tried to extract some useful intels from one of my classmates at uni regarding how to get yourself a decent job and a and in turn get yourself a decent uh, amount of pay from that decent job um, who um, who positioned himself as a chemical uh, a graduate chemical engineer who work, who used to work at those Dolings chemicals at Saudi Arabia in Saudi uh, in Saudi Arabia um, he told me that um, an instrument to facilitate that process does not exist. All you have to do is to um, study hard, study smart, get good grades, um, polish and tailorize your resumes, find you know what work between the angles to, in, to to find ways to impress your potential employers and uh, then you will just land on your dream job especially jobs that relate that relate to or closely relate to engineering tech um you know or 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 jobs that um you know, named like analyst, client service, or service analyst, ICD business analyst, etc. But um, you know, but we we just can't take take their words for it. We will have to we'll have to explore those realms on our own and come out with. Um, judgment and assessment based on our own experiences and uh, you know based on what we saw based on what we we've been through while we were performing the role the job at that position um, so it's it still sounds pretty daunting and uh, overwhelming um, even you know e even if you manage to successfully acquire that offer and uh, miraculously worked on that position for for some time um, there's no guarantee that you will stay you will stay that way for the rest of your life, you will still consider making some changes, making some switches, um, it, 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 especially nowadays, where things and people can change in a in a drastic way, in a in a dramatic, in a dramatically radical fashion, more than you can realize and imagine. <coughs> okay. I suppose oh shit. I I suppose that's that's exactly why I have become so unwilling to find myself a um seemingly decent full time full time job, full time employment as a you know Server administrator, or systems administrator, or ICT business analyst at a 
major at a multinational major corporation.、Um, after I after I've seen all those sufferings, those complaints, and those、um, you know those unpleasant outcomes that. That、um, those multinational corporations have created <clears throat> or have caused caused those you know cata-、um, cata- catastrophes to occur. <clears throat> Pretty sad.、Um, Okay, let's let's hope we can get another miracle next week. I'm your host, Francis Ndet. Thank you for listening and watching. I will try to work smarter to bring you guys more live cold call selling vids. So stay blessed, stay faithful. Stay tuned. I shall see you on the next video on YouTube. Cheers. Bye bye.